basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. Hi everyone, this is Kevin Harlan and joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. The Mavs have put the ball in Luka Doncic's hands and asked him to create. Coach Jason Kidd said, I don't know if anybody told Picasso he had to use all the paints, but I just want to remind him that he can rely on his teammates. His teammates are going to be there to help him. Good words from a great point guard, Kevin. Indeed, that's, uh, that's high praise. Hall of Famer, D.A., thanks. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Sliding in at the wing, it'll be Edwards and McDaniel. Two big men inside, Towns and Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point. And for Dallas, Tim Hardaway Jr. out there with Reggie Bullock. Then there's Doncic, then there's Irving. And it's Powell in at the five, roaming the paint. And the assets traded by the Wolves for Rudy Gobert surprised a lot of people. In essence, five first-round picks, three of them unprotected. They better hope this thing works out. A lot riding on Oh, here's Edwards. Lock at six. Puts up a three. Offensive rebound. Gobert. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. That's a case where Rudy Gobert is outworking the defense, keeping the play alive, and finishing strong. Conley against Irving. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. As to Edwards. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And how about the impact Anthony Edwards has had? This guy's a real game changer on the floor. Scores it at a high clip, can play big inside and play big outside. Does everything on the floor with a passion, with a joy, and with a flair. First one falls for him. And you look at Anthony Edwards. And G.A., he is becoming the leader of this Timberwolves team, isn't he? I think he is. I mean, partly it's his production with his numbers up across the board, but it's also his personality. He plays with tremendous swag. And Edwards drops them both. And you think about all the anticipation over the last couple months. Doris, the regular season is finally here. <laughs> it is upon us. Amen, Kevin. We have been waiting so anxiously for NBA tip-off. Obviously, you're always looking to see the movement of personnel. How well do guys who've switched organizations fit in with their respective rosters? Is somebody now a title contender? So many anxious front offices hoping they made the right decisions. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Boy, and the foul. Doncic has got great upper body strength. Completes the play. Nicely done. The Mavericks shooting their first free throw this game. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% Mind the lane. as a team. Find the lane. One shot. Doncic, no good on the free throw. And the question for the Mavs is simple. How do you best build around Luka Doncic? They'll try to answer that in the coming years. Now, here's McDaniel. Towns a screen on Irving. Conley gets the bucket. Well, the concentration required under duress of the contest. Mike Conley, easy work. Doncic looking it over. To the middle. And Doncic throws it down. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right. And wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. And so it's Minnesota with it. The Mavericks making the shot. Offensive rebound. Gobert lays it up and banks it in. 
Gobert has a thin frame, but make no mistake, he is physical and he relishes contact. Outside Irving for the three. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got three assists now in this one. Timberwolves trail by three. Great to just do for the Mavs. It's all about finding the right fit for the role play. Yeah, that's why this team was willing to move on from Porzingis. Going forward, you can see them. Look a lot like the hard era Rockets. Timeout called first of the game for Minnesota. A moment here now to see the numbers for Anthony Edwards. Last year, getting it done. And amongst the league's top tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And as we saw last season, a difficult guy to run the offense against. Constantly jumping the passing lanes. Always, always a threat to create a turnover. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Lets it fly. He can't get it to go. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. This is a quarter he'd rather forget. This guy just can't seem to get the lid off of that bucket. And out of bounds is the Timberwolves gain possession. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here is a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. Third is Luka Doncic. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Now Edwards, following the three-point attempt by Kyrie Irving. There's the feed to Towns. Towns is double. Out to Edwards. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. That's a perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. Just misread that pass completely. Irving against Conley. Doncic left side. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. That is his first foul of the game. Minnesota on D. It's a three-point game for three. Bullet. Conley grabs the miss. Fires from deep. Connects from three-point range. Conley's got six. Well, you've got to be able to contest. This is a career 37% three-point shooter. You better get out there on Mike Conley. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That is his first foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Hardaway kicks to Doncic. And Doncic throws it down. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Now here's Conley. Six points for him. Doncic passes to Pop. Count that one. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Passes it to Conley. Pass to Towns. Shoots over Bullock. Bullock with the rebound. Mavericks leading by four. Doncic kicks to Bullock. Hardaway passes to Doncic. Dallas moving it around. And it's Bullock missing. Minnesota's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. And there's the pass to Edwards. Clock at four. It's rebounded by Dallas. Oh, a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift 
when they need it. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Town. That is his first foul of the game. Powell with a screen on count. Irving from long range. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Kyrie Irving, such a consistent threat to score from anywhere on the floor. That time he goes to the three-point game. Minnesota calls timeout. To Conley has to go bear, and that's a foul called on Dwight Powell. That is his first foul of the game. Conley against Doncic, just five on the clock. To halt the run. And how about the interior defense here early on? They have really shut down the middle. This guy so dangerous on the offensive glass, and you love to see it jam at home and leave no doubt. Now here's Doncic. He has six. Count it good. Doncic has got eight points. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. Here is Edwards. We saw him with 19 points his last outer. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. And Towns gets it to go. No hesitation from Carl Anthony Towns. Ball is delivered. He makes the assist look easy. Andrews outside. The kick out to Irving. Oh, good with the triple. And with Doncic in the pick and roll game, he's so good at such a young age. It's amazing how well he reads the defense, but he can also freeze the defender or create confusion with that hesitation. He has all the tricks to run. Now here's Towns. Out to Conley. But three. Rebounded by Hardaway. On the wing, Irving over Edwards. And Irving with the basket on the assist from Hardaway. He's got 13. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's foul number two for him. Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Christian Woods checked in for Dwight Powell. Maxi Kleba comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Josh Green subbed in for Luka Doncic. Nas Reed, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. 
Alexander Walker comes in for Michael Conley. Here's Alexander Walker. McDaniels kicks to Towns. And here's Edwards from the arc. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Irving a screen on Edwards. Now here's Kleba. Wood with the screen for Irving. Again, Irving missing. Timberwolves trail by six. Here's Alexander Walker. Reed with it. The dish to Towns. Over Kleba. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. In the number one overall pick in 2015, Carl Anthony Towns has been the franchise player in Minnesota, but out to prove he can be the cornerstone on a contender. The free throw drops for Towns. Greg, in order for Towns to get the Wolves to where they want to go, and certainly where he wants to go, how does he take the next step? Uh, for me, last season, an inconsistent playoff performance for Cat. He's got to make an imprint on the game, even when shots aren't falling. Rivers, he's checked in for Edwards. Boy, what a season 2022 was for the Dallas Mavericks. making it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, the huge upset over the Suns turned that season into what was a dream run early in Luka Doncic's career. And here is McDaniel. No points in the game yet for him. Curls it from outside. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. And with the Mavs, a trip doors to the conference finals puts them ahead of schedule, many people think. Yes, Kevin, but I don't think you can let that momentum you built last year fade in any way. You've got to keep your foot on the gas pedal. We know how fragile success in the NBA is. You've got a top five player on your roster. You have to make sure you're taking advantage of opportunities. So it's Minnesota now. After Tim Hardaway missed from long range. McDaniels finds Towns. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. And checking out some numbers for Irving. Last season, he played outstanding. Putting in about 27 points a game. Five assists and four rebounds. He's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. Here's Wood outside Irving. Here's Kleba. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. With this chance, let's show you the league's most intimidating shot blocking defenses from last season. In the third spot, the Timberwolves. Well, an important element of their defense is the ability to intimidate. I mean, their stellar shot blocking last Shoot year two. accomplished that in a big-time way. And that one falls for Kleber. And when you look at Kleber, it, for me, his makeup leads you to believe that he's the kind of player you can win with. GA, this guy has the frame for it. He stands six foot ten, 240 pounds. He's one of the best defenders in the league, and nobody talks about that. The key for me is, does his confidence remain high? Because he can stretch it out to three, and if his confidence doesn't wane, he's a major force. Guys, you have to remember when thinking and talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves, it's an organization that is still so young. Now, here's Irving. 13 points in the game. Outside, Green. Passes it to Wood. 
Dallas needs to get off a shot. Hangs home the trifecta. And the Mavericks lead by six. You know, basketball historians will remember that the Minneapolis Lakers, Doris, won five titles before relocating to Los Angeles in 1960. And I think the current crop of T-Wolves fans, Kevin, see this as a completely different franchise from that historic team. In their minds, they haven't won a championship yet, and that fact should really motivate this current roster to get one for this group. Wood finds Irving, puts it up from 12, and that one goes long. Timberwolves trail by four. Anderson passes to Conley. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. And it's sent back by Irving. Don't tell me Kyrie Irving can't play defense. Send it back high. Oh, and the buzzer Peters good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. And so the first quarter is in the books. The Mavericks on top. They lead by six. We're back after this from American Airlines Center. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. And guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Mavericks leading by six. So on the floor for Minnesota, They've got Austin Rivers. Friends out there with Kyle Anderson. Then it's Nas Reed. And it's Alexander Walker in at the one. Here's Wood. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Alexander Walker passes to Rivers. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Green. And here we go. Pass to Kleba from downtown. Another three for Dallas. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. To the paint. Here's Reed. It's rebounded by Doncic. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Got it. Good job in the low post. Doncic has got the lead up to 13 now for Dallas. 6'7", 230 pounds. Luka Doncic is a load in the painted area. Down low. Shot to stop the run. And the layup is good. Reeves got his second bucket of the night. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. Donchich outside. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. The pass to Reed. It's rebounded by Dallas. Bullock's got his fourth rebound in this one. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Donchich outside. Shot clock at six. And they pick up two. Donchich has got 14 points. Well, if there's one thing, Greg, that defines a modern NBA big man, it is mobility. And they've got to be able to move their feet and, and really play in space. Otherwise, they just can't stay on the floor in today's game. Prince kicks to Reed. From down low, the shot will not fall. 
and the Mavericks going the other way now. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy, just struggling to make shots right now. Doncic left side. Here's the two drop. That one drops for him. 16 points for Luka Doncic. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Minnesota calls timeout. A moment to check out Luka Doncic here, coming off a terrific season. And he was among the top 20 rebounders in the league. Never shot about throwing his weight around in the paint. And you only average top three in points if you have a particular mindset that, that you are the guy. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. With the fadeaway, it's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Well, the defense was draped all over him, but he went to the fadeaway and drilled it. On the wing, Doncic. The eight-footer. Minnesota with the rebound. Here's Alexander Walker. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Alexander Walker's got five now. Green against Rivers. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his third assist on the night. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got five. Now Reed. Back to Prince. Four on the shot clock. Here's Rivers. And that one, no good to start him off on the night. Loads it up for Wood. Throws down the alley oop slam. And let the big man eat. Throw it up to Wood. And he'll complete that. Pass to Reed. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Give a look now at the 2K leaderboard to see who led the league in assists last year. Fifth is Luka Doncic. Very few guys pass the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. That free throw good from Anderson. The Mavericks GA have been trying to tighten up their defense the past few seasons, and it's beginning to show. And we're seeing signs that the players are getting the message, that they're spending more energy at that end of the floor, and that's essential for any elite team. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Doris, one thing that stood out about the Timberwolves last season was their fast-paced play. No doubt, Kevin, and you can trace that directly to the head coaching position in Chris Finch. This is a group that loved to push the basketball up the floor, wanted to catch defenses before they had a chance to dig in in the half court. And remember, that is the classic mark of a youthful team, particularly one with the athleticism that Anthony Edwards brings. Here's Rivers. Got a hand on it. Now, here's Bullock. Stand this on score 13. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming. as well. Boy, what a feel Luka Doncic brings to the game. This guy always willing to get his teammates involved. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And last season's numbers show him at about an 83% clip, which is far better Find than most. Find Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Powell, he's jacked in for Wood. Hardaway is subbed in for Maxi Kleba. A 
throw good. Bullock. The Timberwolves secured a spot in the playoffs last season, Greg, and we enjoyed it after they got that emotional win in the play-in game in the Twin Cities over the Clippers. What a night. And, Kevin, you could tell it meant a lot to the players. This is a team that has struggled for so long, and by getting to the playoffs, this is a step in the right direction. Outside, Green. Back to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. And here's Green outside. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Here's Reed. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Reed's got six. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Now, here's Doncic. 19 points in the game. Over to the wing. And here's Bullock from the arc. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Alexander Walker passes to Prince. Passes it to Edwards. Over Hardaway. That's good from Edwards on the assist by Prince. But if you find yourself in between in that mid-range area, Anthony Edwards so confident. Rise and fire, young sir. Doncic right side. Green the pass to Bullock. Back to Green. And they double up Doncic. Near the three-point line, it's Bullock. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. Edwards finds Prince. Hits it from three-point range. Prince has got himself on the board with three there. A good percentage of Torian Prince shots are from distance, and you can see why right there. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Mavericks making a switch here. Irving's checked in. Minnesota also making some changes. Goberry's checked in for Reed. McDaniels comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Conley in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Now here's Gobert. He has six. McDaniels with the ball. Gobert with a screen on Hardaway. A shot by McDaniels. No good. And so it's Irving with it. Bringing it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Ranjic outside. And they double up Doncic. Irving from long range. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. Don't melt under pressure. Embrace the tough shots. Kyrie Irving doing it. Irving against Edwards. Feeds to Towns. Shoots over Bullock. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Mavericks leading by 18. And here is Irving. 18 points for him. Here's Doncic from outside the arc. Irving misses. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. McDaniels passes to Conley. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Conley's got nine points. Boy, you've got to love when Mike Conley shoots it with confidence. Goes to the catch-and-shoot game. All right, Mike. Look at, look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fend guys off and get those rebounds. Towns kicks to Edwards. Offline with his three. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Drops in the tray. Bullock's got eight here in the quarter. Uh, starting to heat up now. He's been much more efficient with the shot in this quarter than in the first. 144 left in the first half of the game. Edwards inside. He's covered by Irving. 
And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And what blows me away about Doncic, the consistency across the board. GA, for three straight years, he was selected to the first team All-NBA. And that's all before he turned 24 years of age. Do you have any idea how hard that is to do? What he has done is incredible. Well, Anthony Edwards has the kind of frame and skill set that can make him a force. But it all comes down to paying the price and putting in the work now. Now, here's Doncic. 19 points in the game. He kicks it to Powell. Pass to Doncic. Here's the three. Another three for Dallas. What I love about Luka Doncic is how much fun he has playing the game. Shots like that, the flair just demonstrated. It's Edwards on the wing. He's covered by Irving. Conley's shot is off. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Irving passes to Doncic. And Doncic throws it down. Listen, this is becoming routine for Luka Doncic. This guy's a big-time scorer who can take over when he's ready. Outside Conley. Here's the pass to Edwards. To the wing right side. Towns kicks to McDaniel. Good, and the assist goes to Towns. McDaniel's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Irving passes to Doncic. That's tipped. Towns with the steal. Edwards looking it over. Three seconds left, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Hard work pays off right there. Anthony Edwards finds himself in the paint and draws contact. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. Now, how about last season? He made about 79% of his attempts, so those are really quality numbers. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And if they keep training the threes like they've been so far, their lead is safe. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, Kyrie. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Hello and welcome to what a first half for Cool Hand Luca. Luka Doncic. He's looked like a genius on the offensive end. Finally looks for himself and his other guys. You see the great vision, spotting openings. He's got the defense figure out. And this gives us a moment to check in on the games that have already wrapped up tonight. The Cavaliers came out on top against the Pistons in Detroit. Sort of painful to watch, like Kenny suits, but they were steamrolling, not letting up. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter, sliced right through them. His penetration was a real problem for them. And then, of course, the monster finishes at the cup. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. 
Powell is out there with Reggie Bullock. Then there's Hardaway. Then there's Luka Doncic. And it's Irving at the two spot. That's the five to begin the second half for Jason Kidd. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. Nick Daniels finds Conley. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Tim Hardaway picks one up. You can see that defenders try to play with a level of physicality against Mike Conley, but this guy's such a tough competitor, he'll get to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And for years, Mike Conley had an interesting title. The best player to never make an All-Star game. Well, that changed in 2021 when Conley was named an All-Star. And he sinks. the second for Mike Conley year 13 was lucky for him going to that first all-star game and that was the longest wait ever to become an all-star Conley 33 at the time of that first selection just shows you the work ethic of Mike always trying to improve now Edwards following the three-point attempt by Kyrie Irving releases and the shot is good the Maverick lead has been cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Edwards doesn't matter where on the floor Anthony Edwards is. That shot mechanic's so pretty, so fluid. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Edwards. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Here's McDaniels. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Shock up two there. Towns has got six. Well, strength and the ability and willingness to embrace, absorb, and finish through contact. Carl Anthony Towns. And just left side. Stolen by McDaniels. Pass to Edwards. And change shot. Out to Conley. Fires for three. Drills the three-pointer. 13 points in the game. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Probably the most important thing is they regroup. They worked out some of their frustrations, and now they're starting to have some fun. Now here's Hardaway. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Outside Irving. Five to shoot. Doncic with a screen for Irving. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. The shot by McDaniels, no good. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley-oop. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. Now, here's Doncic. 24 points for him. Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they've talked about at halftime, it's not working. Oh, great ball movement there. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And checking out some numbers for Gobert. Coming off a terrific season. First in rebounding, and he ranked third in the league in blocks. He's just a fearsome deterrent around the rim. And getting back to the fact that he led the league in rebounding, you know how hard that is? What a tremendous asset to the team. Here's Irving. He's got 18. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Poked away. Edwards against Doncic. Passes it to Conley. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. All right now, let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and see the teams that really knew how to clog the passing lanes last season. In the third spot, the Timberwolves. You could tell by watching them how much they enjoyed playing defense. They seem to have an endless reserve of energy flying around and, and pressuring the basketball. Mavericks leading by four. 
now Doncic has the bullet on the wing Hardaway over Edwards and Hardaway gets it to go Hardaway has got his first points of the night. Boy, that was a much-needed bucket in the second half. They're now one for five. A pass to Gobert. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Towns kicks to Gobert. Pass to Conley. Good for another field goal. Number five on the night. Five for ten shooting. Boy, Rudy Gobert, usually the recipient of that kind of pass. That was nicely done, Rudy. Doncic outside. And it's Bullock in the corner. Down to five on the shot clock. On the win. And McDaniels with the block. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And now here's the upcoming schedule for the Dallas Mavericks. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Friday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Sacramento to take on the Kings. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Now Edwards. After Tim Hardaway missed from long range. Tipped away. Here's Gobert. It's rebounded by Dallas. They led the game at one point by 20. Doncic dishes to Irving. How with his screen on Edwards. Irving for three. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Towns has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. McDaniels passes to Edwards. And another three for Minnesota. After hitting nothing from downtown in the first half, that's his second make since. Irving up top. Over by Conley. Stolen by McDaniels. Doncic against Edwards. High post. Gobert. Out to Conley. Green by McDaniel. Just five to shoot. Conley's shot is off. Dallas has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Now, here's Doncic. 24 points for him. Bullock passes to Hardaway. Trying to get open is Irving. They get it back. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his ninth assist in the game now. Passes to McDaniels. Inside. Here's Edwards. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Edwards got 19 points. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Dallas calls timeout. And the Mavericks with some changes. Wood, he's checked in for Powell. And it's Maxi Kleba in for Reggie Bullock. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Mavericks. The lead is two. Doncic outside. And they double up Doncic. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Kleba, the pass to Doncic. Clock is at three. Here's Wood. Gobert with the block. Nine foot nine standing reach. Rudy Gobert, 
twice on the pipes. Bounce pass, Conley. To the inside. And it's all evened up. 17 points for Conley. Dallas has gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Anjic outside. And they double up Doncic. Irving passes to Kleba. Just five on the clock. Outside Hardaway. Good trying to free himself up. And Tim Hardaway Jr. with the three. Hardaway has got two now from beyond the arc in the third for Dallas. Minnesota calls timeout. Green, he's checked in for Luka Doncic. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Mike Conley. Timberwolves trail by three. Alexander Walker passes to Edwards. And that's a foul called on Josh Green. That is his first foul of the game. to Alexander Walker. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Five on the clock. McDaniels kicks to Jones. Another miss by Minnesota. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. Now, here is Irving. 18 points for him. On deep, Wood. Gobert with the block. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got five. McDaniels with the ball. And stolen by Irving. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And you know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Mavericks? The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up, and boy, have they. Well, I also notice, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a Take teammate a with a better Two look. Shot. good on the free throw. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for Dallas. the pass to Wood. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Gobert. Nick Daniels with the ball. He's against Green. Outside Edwards. Back to McDaniel. 
and they're unable to get the time basket there. The Mavericks leading. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Kleba. And here is Irving. 18 points for him. Hardaway for three. Now, McDaniels. Pass to Alexander Walker. It's stolen by Green. And the rejection by Town. Carl Anthony Towns twice on the pipe. Send it back, big fella. Outside Irving. Launches it. Sinks the triple. Irving's got 21. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Alexander Walker passes to Edwards. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Green. Mr. Irving. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got four assists now tonight. Now, here's McDaniel. And there's the pass to Towns. And he finishes nicely on the way. Towns has got eight. Well, Carl Anthony Towns can make face-up perimeter jump shots, no doubt. But when he's got this part of his game cooking, look out. Dallas calls timeout. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for the Mavericks. All right, a chance to look at stats for Kyle Anderson. Some last season stats for him. He was around seven points a game last year. Five rebounds and two assists. And, and it's nice to be able to bring someone with his defensive skill set off the bench. I think, in fact, to win a championship, you usually need a guy like this on your roster. There's a minute left to play here in the third. Bullet kicks to Kleba. Pass to Bullet. And stolen by Prince. Dishes it to Conley. Rivers passes to Reed. Here's Anderson. Basket counts. Now just a three-point Maverick lead. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half. Getting away from the three-point shot. Irving from long range. Offensive rebound. Wood. Reed with the block. Hacked and still knocked it down. Nice composure. This is his second trip to the free throw line. It was a, a little bit of a battle for him all season long. Last year, only shooting about 71%. And that one falls for Kleba. Timberwolves trail by six. Here's Conley. And the Timberwolves tack on two more. Well, fear has never been a problem for Mike Conley if he's near the cup. Nice finish inside. Here's Irving. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, just nice strength there. And then just off with the shot. For Dallas, they have made three of five free throw attempts. And the first one at the line is good. Boy, when you think of Kyrie Irving, hard not to believe he has got perhaps the best handle in the entire NBA.
He hits both from the strike. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Conley inside the line, and that one released in time, but no good. And so it's Dallas with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We come back right after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. On the court for Minnesota, they've got Kyle Anderson, Conley out there with Anthony Edwards, and it's uh, Torian Prince, and it's Gobert in at the center position. Edwards, that's good. I think his teammates understand that Anthony Edwards has every aspect of his offensive game working, so let's make sure he's got the basketball. Green kicks to Bullock, passes it to Doncic. Lets it go from the baseline and nails it. Doncic has got 26 points. Well, the size advantage playing a big part there. Just calmly rises and fires. Gobert with a screen on Doncic. Conley dishes to Gobert. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. Mavericks leading by six. Here's Green. Doncic right side. To the wing on the left. For three. Bullock. And Doncic throws it down. Well, here is a player with great size and great instincts. It allows Luka Doncic to rebound consistently. Nicely done there. Now here's Prince. to Edwards, and it's stolen by Green. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Donchich outside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Kyle Anderson. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed such a knack for getting to the free throw line. That free throw good from Doncic. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Towns, he's checked in for Kyle Anderson. <laughs> that free throw is good from Doncic. Luka Doncic has already established himself as a perennial candidate for MVP. He controls the game with the basketball in his hands. He is an incredible driver, and he makes the game easy for the guys around him. Now, here's Doncic. Fires the three. Minnesota with the rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. 
Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. On the wing, Doncic. Goodbye, Conley. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Well, Christian Wood has shown himself capable of being a 20 and 10 guy. But now he's looking to show he can be a winner as well. Minnesota making a switch here. Alexander Walker's checked in. And you hear about impacting winning. How does Wood, Greg, take the next step in that regard? Well, Kevin, we know he can make shots and block shots. I think it's just about consistency and decision-making. And, and then defensively, I think he's more than capable. Edwards. And the layup falls. Edwards got 23 points. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Doncic left side. Shoots off the step back. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Towns has got six rebounds in the game. Edwards against Green. The pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Towns. And Towns throws it down. Carl Anthony Towns too big, too strong too high off his feet. Dallas calls timeout. Dallas making a switch here. Hardaway is checked in. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Well, I was able to listen in on what Jason Kidd went over with his team. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Now, here's Doncic. T right on him. Six on the shot clock. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got five assists in the game. Alexander Walker passes to Edwards. Out of bounds, it'll be Mavericks ball. And so Green will bring it up for Dallas. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Donchich outside. Fires at the elbow. And he gives the jumper to drop. Donchich has got 34. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Green against Edwards. Inside. On the left block. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Outside Hardaway. To the left wing. Pass to Kleba. Dallas moving it around. Wood can't hit. Timberwolves trail by 13. 
Alexander Walker passes to Edwards. Passes it to Towns. It's tipped. Green with the ball. Picked up by Edwards. Green dishes to Doncic. And finished off by Wood. Luka Doncic made it known early in his career. He is one of the best passers in the NBA. Alexander Walker passes to Prince. Pass to Edwards. And Edwards with the stuff. When you watch Torrey and Prince play, you know it's about team. This guy finds the open man and loves delivering it. And the pass to Wood. Three-pointer. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. And the Mavericks lead by 16. And, and you like to see since the half now. He's finally starting to come around. Pass to Towns. Kicks it to Edwards. Six to shoot. He dishes it to Gobert. From down in the low post, it goes. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. This is it to Doncic. Trying to free himself up. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. You can see Luka Doncic has the body, the handle, the footwork, and the savvy to draw fouls. That is nicely done. That free throw good from Doncic. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Powell, he's jacked in for Wood. Reggie Bullock comes in for Maxi Kleba. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Josh Green. The Timberwolves also changing it up. McDaniels comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Conley in for Nikhil Alexander Walker. All free throws good from Doncic. Timberwolves trail by 16. Conley, the pass to McDaniels. Pass to Edwards. Up and in on the layup. Edwards got 18 points just in the second half. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. On the wing, Doncic. Back to Irving. There's the triple. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Irving's got 28. But Kyrie Irving gets off the ball, goes to the catch and shoot game. Yeah, that's pure. Conley, the pass to McDaniels. Now Towns. He's guarded by Bullock. And the Timberwolves tack on two more. And that field goal percentage climbing now above 50%. They look like a different team here in the second half. Now, here is Irving. The pass to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. They get a hand on it. Hardaway kicks the bullet to the middle. Shoots from 12. And rejection by McDaniel. Edwards with it. Hardaway picks him up. Pass to Conley. Out to the right wing. Here's Towns. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Well, battling hard. That's an impressive move by Towns. He'll go to the strike. And Carl Anthony Towns said he believes that he is the greatest big man shooter of all time. What do you think? Well, Kev, I think of a guy by the name of Dirk Nowitzki might have a thing or two to say about it. But I love Carl Anthony Find Towns' the lane. attitude. Find the lane. You have got to One believe shot. in your skills if you're going to have the kind of success that Cat has had in this league. And we know he is lethal from deep. The free throw drops for Towns. Well, Carl Anthony Towns has always had a burden on his shoulders offensively, and he has the skill set to be able to handle it gracefully. Here's Irving. Out to Doncic. Outside Hardaway. 
off target with his three. Timberwolves trail by 12. Edwards dishes to come. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his fifth foul. And that's going to be his fifth, guys. One more and he's done. Outside Edwards. He feeds it to Towns. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Bullock. How about that defense by Powell? Not overly physical, obviously, but he moves his feet and anticipates plays. This game is going to get even more out of hand unless they start valuing the basketball. Towns with the steal. Here's Edwards. Gets the bucket and the foul. Irving. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Dallas making a switch here. Vincent's checked in. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. <laughs> Mavericks leading by nine. Here's Pinson. On your job side. Passes to Pinson. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen by McDaniels. Edwards against Hardaway. Tipped away. And that's a foul. Called on Dwight Powell. And that'll be his third foul so far. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Powell against Edwards. Out to Conley. Lock at six. Gobert with a screen on Doncic. Out the basket. Conley's got 21 in the game. Well, Mike Conley has mastered pick and roll play and does such a good job making the right decisions. Here's Doncic. McDaniels defending. It's tipped. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Turns the lead to six. Right, he's checked in for Harden. And McDaniels drops them both. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you get a chance to close the gap, you've got to make the most of it. Dallas calls timeout. They're leading by five. 152 left in the game. Fifty-two left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Doncic. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. I'll tell you, Luka Doncic makes tough shots look easy. Boy, that close to the bucket through that much contact, nice. Dallas making a switch here. Green's check in. Free 
throw good from Doncic. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter. Gobert with a screen for Conley. Pass to Edwards. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. Now, here's Green. Donchich outside. 119 left to play in the final quarter. They kick it out to Green. Five to shoot. In the corner, Powell with it. This one for three. And the rejection by Towns. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blew. And Dallas gets called for the foul. and that narrows the gap to seven. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. And McDaniels drops them both. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. 58 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Hardaway, no good. Hardaway has gotten three of his eight shots to go, around 37%. Gobert with a screen on Hardaway. Edwards against Powell. Fades back. Edwards can't hit, and now they decide to foul intentionally. First one, and that makes it a seven point lead. Josh Green's checked in for Maxi Kleber. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight point game. Minnesota calls timeout, they're trailing by eight. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nick Daniels finds Towns. Gobert with a screen on Doncic. There's the pass to Edwards. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Edwards got 32 points. And he is built to be the man for this team. Edwards answering the bell and executing. And now we've got the intentional foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And the Timberwolves call time. They trail by seven. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What do you think, guys? Some call them wins and lessons. Coach not wasting any time making his point. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. Dallas making a switch here. Oh, 
19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And looking for a very quick shot here. You've got to run a play that's a quick strike. You've got to immediately foul after that. The shot by McDaniels. No good. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good. Bring both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Edwards gets to Conley. Buries it from outside. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. So a close game sees Dallas taking this one. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. For what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Here with Luca. Got the W, so what did you think about your performance? You know, we got to win against a team that's very competitive. You know, they go hard uh, no matter what. You know, they're a great team. And, you know, I'm just glad we got it. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.